the, the six habits you should adopt as a woman on self-love is process your fears like making errors or making mistakes feeling afraid is natural and human don't reject your fears understand them this is this healthy exercise can really help with your mental health interrogating and evaluating your fears helps you to gain clarity and unmask issues in your life that were causing you anxiety that in turn can help alleviate some if not all of your anxiety fear is natural reaction or response to a certain stimuli certain happening or experience fear in itself is not is neither good or bad because fear is as a message it is when you evaluate the message it is when you interpret the message and your response towards that message is what can make or break you so in your life as a woman you care for yourself when you accept your fears and uh, listen to your fears extract the message in every circumstance that fear comes up because definitely it is a message it is what you do with the message that can bring productivity or can bring failure so for example because, because for example fear has stopped us from making decisions and choices that will have put us into debts into trouble will have even lost our lives lost money in a similar situation other people have lost their lives have lost their money have lost their properties because they never listen to their fears so you can see the way fear is important it's only when fear gets in the way of you pursuing and achieving your goals dreams and vision that's when that is not a good fear when it comes to relationships also fear is a message that all is not well with your partner or your spouse for example if um, you're always afraid of calling your your spouse or your partner then the message is your trust levels are still wanting your relationship is yet to grow to a level where you're vulnerable you're free with one another because in relationships especially in romantic relationships it is love that is a glue it is love that holds the relationship together and when you read uh, first john chapter 4 verse 18 it is talking about god's love for us and how we feel god's love so from verse 17 it says in this way love has been perfected among us so that we may have confidence on the day of judgment for in this world we are just like him just like god just like christ there's no fear in love perfect love drives out fear because fear involves punishment the one who fears has not been perfected in love we we love because he first loved us so it is really referring to the dynamics of um, a believer relationship with god a believer relationship with jesus christ that relationship is defined by love it is god who loved us and the love of god does not push us away does not instill fear no it instills confidence in the one who has said he loves us so we draw nigh to god because of love so in the same way he is saying that if we are in a relationship with god but we are, st we are still so afraid of god then something is wrong it's not that there's something wrong with god it is something is wrong with our interpretation of our relationship with god fear is not supposed to be the driving 
force when it comes to our interactions with God, whether it is worship, whether it is praise, whether it, whether it is prayer, or whether it is giving. All our actions should be driven by love. It is we, we, we are responding to love. Verse 19 says, we love because he first loved us. So we are responding to his love. In the same way, when it comes to a relationship with your partner, there should be no love because perfect love casts away fear. So if you fear, it means it is because your interpretation of your relationship with your with your husband or your man is false or is wrong. And that could do with um, how you are your condition or programmed to relate with men. If your dad was very ferocious and very domineering, you're likely to have caught that the way to relate with a man is through fearing the man. So that's why you will not be confident conversing or calling your man. There, there's another lady uh, I was having a session with and I remember her confessing that she was having some challenges I think with a newborn child and um, she was in the hospital admitted but there's a way she was misrepresenting the facts about the condition of the child to the husband at home and I, told, I asked her why and she said she did not want to burden the, the man so you see her interpretation of the relationship with the husband is one that fuels her choice to not reveal the facts as they are. And so I asked her, what if something, so what if the situation of the child gets worse and you later on have to tell your, your, your spouse that I'm sorry I didn't give you all the truth. What will that do to your relationship with him? So we were all in agreement that if you truly love and he truly loves you, then fear should not be something that is driving your decisions and choices. So there, there you have it. Fear is not something you should reject, but use fear to interpret the relationship the situation, the environment, so that you can have the best response that brings productivity. Thank you. I'll see you in the next lesson. Until then, my name is Coach Martin.